Yo guys, how's it going? Our Rorschach here, and we've got a really interesting Hunter deck here. I know Hunter, you don't see a lot of this class on ladder, and if you do, it's mostly just face hunter. We have a nice death rattle beast hunter built around the prime, built around resurrecting your death rattles. It does a lot of funky stuff, does a shit ton of damage, and surprisingly has a good amount of value in it as well. So for those of you who are unfamiliar with how we do our deck guides, we're going to talk about the deck, each and every card in the deck, uh, explain why it's there, the synergies, and uh, all the good stuff from there. We're going to head into some ranked games. You're going to see the deck in action. You're going to see this bad boy slap some other players on ladder, get some points, and hopefully you guys can replicate that and do the same thing. So without further ado, let's take a look at the list. We got the one mana, one, three, Dwarven Sharpshooter. It's a one mana, one three. Stat wise, it's really good for a one drop. Plus, we can use our hero power to kill other early game minions. It's really good against any other aggressive style deck. Looking at Demon Hunter, looking at Rogue. Moving to the Hellbore. It's a one mana, two one. Death Rattle, give a random beast in your hand. Most of the time, early in the game, we do have a beast in our hand. Problem is, I really don't like two ones in this meta because of Demon Hunter. They can just like kill the card, right? But I didn't really have another good early game option besides the Sharpshooter for this guy since Spring Paw is gone. Now, that would have been a really good card to play. It's also pretty good with the Scavengers because it can get the plus three, plus three. So it's a one mana six, four, which is pretty good. Besides that, the Hellbore is in here just because it has Death Rattle. It's an early game beast. And uh, getting on the board early with this deck is good. If you don't like the Hellbore, you can flex it out for something else. But again, this is a aggressive style deck. So making sure we have some card to play in the early game is pretty important. Explosive Trap, we run the secret package in here. We run two explosives, two pack tactics, because it's just amazing. Um, and then we also run the one snake trap. Um, the explosive is to counter all of the aggro decks. The pack tactics is to be used on cards like Phase Stalker and our uh, Apex Predator, uh, because it is insane making two of these uh, with the pack tactics. Pack tactics are two Phase Stalkers. And then the one snake is just to mix it up. A lot of people think it's freezing. A lot of people think it's maybe a misdirection. So we just run the one snake to kind of juke them out a little bit face stalker we run five secrets of course we play this card that pulls the secrets out of our deck uh, it's really good we don't really want to run too many more secrets just because it isn't necessarily a secret deck it is supposed to be a more of a beast deck but it, we have to fill the early game with something and this is a really good beast in itself so if we're going to run this really good beast card we might as well run synergy cards that go along with it the scavengers it's a two mana draw a beast give it plus three plus three Really, really, really good card because if you draw into cards like your Porcupine, you can draw into Griffins, you can draw into pa Apex Predator. Overall, uh, the Scavengers is a fantastic card in the deck, and if I could run more, more of them, I would. Snake Trap, we went over that. Uh, we got the Porcupine. Uh, it's a three mana, two, four Death Rattle. Deal this minion's attack uh, split among all enemy minions. So as you buff this card with cards like Fresh Scent, the Scavengers, the Houndmaster, uh, this card's attack gets bigger, which means it's more annoying for your opponent to deal with because it'll do damage to their minions. It'll do damage to their face uh, along with when it attacks. Uh, so overall, the Porcupine's been really cool. It's a neat little card. Uh, Diving Griffin, we run this card because we do play the Predator and we do play the Lion. So being able to get these cards from our deck and also have a 4-1 rush out is really, really good. Hunter has always had a problem with draw and this card kind of allows us to get around that with drawing some of our rush minions with our with our rush minions being some of the best cards in the deck. Eagle Horn Bow. You're like, Rob, why are you only running one Eagle Horn Bow? Surprisingly, this card was really slow. I ran two of them. And I found it was just sitting in my hand on turn three. I'm, I, I would rather play Porcupine. I'd rather play Apex Predator. I'd rather play Dying Griffin or dry, <laughs> Diving Griffin. Uh, Eaglehorn Bow on turn three is just not fast enough anymore. This meta is very fast. There's a lot of good cards and Eaglehorn Bow, unfortunately, just doesn't meet it. So I found that the one Eaglehorn Bow is good. I don't draw it too often, but I get it enough where I can combo it off with the secrets sometime. But two of them, it was just getting locked up in my hand and or it was just too slow. So. Uh, kill command three mana deal five if you have a beast out every card in this deck is basically a beast so uh, it's a good card nine lives so this is one of the core cards in the deck and what we get all of our value from so being able to nine lives on savannah high main or our predator is really good because not only when you nine lives you'll shuffle another uh prime into your deck you also get another predator which you can then attack and then shuffle another prime into your deck so this deck has a lot of you know roots that you can take to make a lot of high mains you can make a lot of predators you can make a lot of porcupines it all depends what you're going for that game but the nine lives super sick 
And uh, if you have a way, maybe you can take out the Hellboard, add more cards that give you nine lives, maybe Mark Shot, even though I think that card's a little bit too slow right now. Um, being able, maybe um, the, what is it, Shutterfly could be good because it can give a spell and that spell could give you more nine lives. So it all depends. Uh, this deck is not refined. It's good, but I'm sure it could be even better with your guys' input. Uh, Zixor, uh, again, one of the key cards of the deck. It's the Hunter Prime and its Death Rattle summon the Prime into your deck. And then the Prime is an eight mana. 4-4 uh, four, four with Rush, summon three copies of it, so you basically get a 8-mana 16-16 uh, sixteen, sixteen with Rush. Houndmaster, give a friendly beast, plus 2, plus 2 in Taunt. Almost everything's in this deck is a beast. Houndmaster is a good card stat-wise, and giving a minion plus 2, plus 2 is really good. Lion, this card is super good because if a Death Rattle card lives on your side of the battlefield, so like looking at High Main or Predator or the Porcupine, you already, this card has, it's a 5-2 with a Rush, and then you can copy a Death Rattle. So for example, if we copy a Porcupine, we trade this into a 5 HP minion, and then it does 5 to your opponent's face if there's no other minions out, or if they have like 2-2, two, two, or they have 2-2-1s two, two or something like that, we can kill off the minions as well. So, really good card in this deck. And then Savannah High Main. How could we not put Savannah High Main into a... A nice death rattle beast deck right so this is the king of the jungle right here this is the top end of the deck super super value card very hard to deal with for most decks and normally if the savannah high main is able to attack your opponent's face uh once normally the rule of thumb is if savannah high main attacks your opponent's face just once uh, your chances of winning that game greatly increase. So we always got to put that guy in there. So hopefully you enjoyed the deck, guys. Hopefully it gives you a lot of success. If you do like it, throw a comment, throw a like. Let me know what you think. What should the changes be? How's it been working out for you? I'm interested. This is a really funky deck. And uh, I would like to hear how you guys are doing with it or some of the changes that you recommend. So with that, let's head into the games and enjoy, boys. Discord. I'll check it after uh, the stream. Slap. I normally don't check decks like during stream unless I'm openly looking for one. Right now we're playing this one. The forest fights back. Let the hunt begin. See, this is a pretty good start. I see one, two, three. Dude, holy shit. The gifted subs today that follows. Crazy. Hundred and Two two twenty subs. You guys are fucking nutty. You guys are pretty fucking nutty. No, seriously, what is that staff thing from? Is that actually Twitch staff? I feel like why would like they you didn't even like the PNG isn't even like it has the black background. I feel like they should crop that out. Fuck! Again. <laughs> you gifted the Twitch support a subs. The cops are in our pockets now. Don't worry, boys. It's all part of the plan. Hell yeah. Thank you, Snail. When in doubt, pay off the cops. Just pay him off, chat. Alright, this song is terrible. Holy shit, this start is nutty. Like, how does he come back from this? He's got five mana and a dream, and that dream is alt F4. I'm actually gonna look that up. I'm interested if that's actually the Twitch support chat icon. Twitch chat badges. These are the fine folk who made Twitch tick. No way. So it actually was Twitch staff. Holy shit. That's the first time Twitch staff has a Twitch staff has ever been in here. Look at that. That's a true story. That's not even fake news, boys. That's real news. And she gifted five subs. Holy shit. Oh my god. That is super fucking awesome. 
That is omega fucking super juicy awesome. This goes here first, and then we see where the pings land. Uh, questionable pings. Questionable pings. <sighs> That's crazy. A Twitch staff's husband watches me. It's so cool. I actually have never seen that symbol before ever. I thought I, th I thought it was like staff for like events or something. I didn't realize it was actually like Twitch staff, like. The popos. The real popos. Not fake popos. Come from the other ground. Alright. Hot Nigel remix. I can't win them all. Now this song is a banger, boys. When in doubt, Hot Nigel out. The hunt begin. I just got all my basic cards for all the classes. Should I build a deck now? What do I do next? Uh, it should. Yo, know, AV. When you, you should have the option, or Hearthstone should give you the option to be able to um pick a deck out of all nine, right? And that deck you pick is going to be a, a, a pretty, pretty good deck. Reporting for duty. Right? Bruh. This curve. Yo, this deck's pretty fucking nutty. I keep saying that, but it is. Like, we do this, and then we play the lion into that. And then we got, we got some high mains in here. We got some, we got some big kittens. We got some fucking meow mittens. Like, what is he gonna do? When I when I hit him with the hit him with the raw, dude. Do I trade here and leave this 8-5 up? Or do I hit this and then the weapon can trade, leave that up? I leave this guy up. If he wants to take eight to the forehead, he can. Ready to come from, ready to go, ready to come from Pat Nigel. Alright. We got primes on primes. Now we just need to draw those primes. Follow the rule. Ooh, are we feeling frisky? No. No, we're not. I cannot wait to read these. All right, I'm feeling spicy here. I'm feeling real spicy. I see it. I see the lines, chat. I see the lines. Alright, you got one job. Alright. Alright. Real talk. Real talk. Turret thing. You've got a target. That target is this guy holding some books. Fuck these books up. Got one job. Just one. Didn't ask a lot. You're in a beast deck. And you're a mech. You're the loner. I'm gonna need results. I need results from you. Results. Procure me results. Bring them to the table. Good boy. That is a good mechanical being. You get an A plus for today. Good mechanical being. Absolutely. You're getting fucking WD-40 tonight. You're getting some WD. <laughs> Don't play you <OD>. day. <laughs> Impurity will not be tolerated. I still have yet to play Sire Prime.
Oh, the new one gets taunt too. That's really cool. Dude, this deck. Just... No, wait, wait, wait. The Gore Fiend, it kills my dudes, but it resurrects them later if he dies. How does he die? We have no way to kill him. Gore Fiend doesn't fit in this deck. Because if I kill everything, I have no way to kill him. And what if he gets silenced? Yeah, I gotta take out the Gore Fiend. I gotta put in something else. Wow, 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 wow. I was really hoping he wouldn't have the second. It's 10, right? I only have 10. Code. What? Reporting for duty. Reporting for duty. Dude, where is my prime, dude? Where's my griffin? Where's my prime? There's my griffin. Give me my prime. That's a good boy, but I can't play the prime. <laughs> I cannot prime yet. It is not primed and ready. Uh, wait, he's only an 8 mana 4-4 four, four with Rush? That's it? Trash. Trash. I'm just kidding, he's pretty good. <laughs> Alright, is there. Reporting for duty. Reporting for duty. Your presence offends me. Oh no. Gotta hold on to what we've got. Dude, how many subdues? This guy is going crazy, dude. This guy is going crazy. Whoa. Tiger. Tiger. Man, I really don't want to trade these. Like, that feels really bad, right? Because if he buffs that card, I get punished. It's actually a very close game. Reporting for duty. It's actually a night, not a bad remix. Reporting for duty. Your presence of Fuck, you got another one. Another one. Alright, I think that's lethal. Results to the bowl. We put results to the board, boys.